Hi everybody, <coughs> right I'm back home and uh, so I'll just do a quick uh, video of what I'm sewing uh, today or this evening. Um, I'm going to do some celeriac and I'm going to try and start some celery off. I've never really grown celery very well. Um, so this is just, uh, this is actually um, cocoa core, a uh, bit of um, multi-purpose sieved and some vermiculite added. Um, it's been pre-soaked uh, overnight actually. Um, so it's, it's just damp to the touch which is fine. So basically it's as simple as open a packet of seeds and sprinkle them on um, with these um, are quite small apparently um, what we'll do first we'll do the uh, to the celery it's an old packet I say old packet it's not that old <coughs> did use it last year it got wet it's just called celery cutting um, so basically all I'm going to be doing See how many seeds we got to start with. Very small they are, very very small seeds. And uh, just been watching a uh, another uh, rerun of um, Charles Dowding's um, how to grow celery, uh, etc. Um, sometimes I just quickly watch him again uh, just to re uh, jog my memory and um, basically he um, sews them into trays like this and then pricks them out um, into module trays afterwards um, he said there's no point in putting the because uh, the seeds are so small I think is it's much easier just putting a small tray like this so you can get the germination and then prick them out into modular trays no good obviously um, well I say obviously no good these aren't for uh, multi sewing so you prick them out individually put them in the uh, trays the uh, modules and then he was saying um, come middle of May just after your last frost date to plant out and with his uh, upload they're about uh, this tall in modules he put them out I think on the 17th of May last year uh, yeah well that was it basically um so as these are so small i'm gonna sprinkle them all over like this now because they're so small i'm not gonna cover these but i'm tapping them down to try and get to make sure that they actually touching the soil so some contact there um, I'm not going to cover those personally and I'll just drop that in there for the time being and then I can write some labels after so that's the celery that's all I'm going to do um, these are going to my Vitapod these are the trays that I actually I got bought 12 of these from um the same company um so they've got drainage holes so i can water them below on these and they've all been stacked up overnight because i have five of them because i've got some of the bits and pieces to uh sew later uh and basically i'm just going to put them in the vitapod to give them a bit of warmth as soon as they uh germinate um i'll probably then just put them in my other cover which um is unheated with a few lights right close to the lights the lights will radiate a bit of warmth because I don't want them getting too hot because uh, I'm still learning on the old uh, grow light situation and uh, I think uh, too much heat and not enough light and they go very very leggy um, my um, salads that I put uh, where I'd put them in the Vitapod and overnight they shot up I can't believe how quick they've shot up and I think they've uh, all really quite stringy stringy leggy and to be perfectly honest, I'll probably start again. But as 
I've said in a previous blog, um, you learn by your mistakes, and it's all new to me, this light malarkey. Um, so I'm just learning. So uh, there you go. Uh, so this one's going to be celeriac, and I've got two types. So what I will do on this, um, which I haven't got with me, or oh, I have, I've got one. I did leave one here. He says, I'm doing it on my dining table at the moment because I was just watching, like I said, uh, some uh, YouTube uh, videos. That's really annoying because I've just had the label. Here it is. I've got one of these. So I'm going to put that in the middle, like so. If I turn it around that way, it might be a bit easy for me. So on this side, I'm going to do celeriac giant prog globular roots okay never grown it before in my life it says you can sow it now that's the point just put in the comments anybody else do you, you know when you i mean i do read the backs of it but um how much do you actually take of the the, the sowing dates on here I mean, it gives you a rough idea. I mean, it says you can do it from February. I mean, I tend to look at it and go, okay, February to April. Mm, I'll do it towards the end of February, start of March. It's in between. That's what I'm going to be doing. I did uh, see somebody make a good comment um, whereby they say, yeah, this is companies produce the seeds and they, they've been years of experience. They work out which is the optimum time for sowing. And that's why they put the dates are there. Again, you, you've got to go with what your climate is as well. And I, I'm led to believe mine is zone 8. Um, because it all goes on what your temperatures are, isn't it? Or something. Um, the range of your temperatures. Um, but I think everybody this year has been completely uh, from it's because it's been so cold over here in the UK. I mean, I, I live in, as I said before, the Midlands, West Midlands. And uh, it's been minus 11 is the lowest it went down to. And I, think that was, well, I think that was with a chill factor, but it's pretty damn cold. Um, I've never known it that cold for many years. Um, I do know, I remember when I was a lad and, and I was at school, we used to have to carry on walking to school in the snow. They never closed the schools. So all you young, youngsters out there, all you kids out there, moaning it oh don't want to go to school and they shut the schools within three nanoseconds there's a little bit of little bit of snow on the ground and they shut them all absolutely joke it's no matter where you walk into school anyway so again i'm just going to sprinkle a few seeds on here i'm not going to go stupid because i don't want thousands of them and probably a few more here and that's it. So you always put your seeds back in your packet over the tray. So any that fall out, go in the tray. So that's the giant prog celeriac. Never grown it before. Never even ate it before. So I'll try it. If I try it and I don't like it, I won't go it again, will I? But at least I've given it a go and I've tried it. Okay. And this one's Celeriac Monarch. Monarch. So again, at the top. in here but there aren't many right so the ones that were free with kitchen garden from king's seeds there's loads too many to be perfectly honest but these aren't many in there i've got a feeling these came free with 
grow your own because I wouldn't actually go out and buy these. So I think these come free with grow your own. So kitchen garden so far winning. <laughs> We have actually got some uh, celer uh, celeric. I've got some more celery seeds actually, which I bought from Premier Seeds. Uh, thinking about it now, red celery or something. So, anyway, we'll see. So, again, I'm not covering them because they are so small. If I do this, decide to cover them, I'll probably put a tiny bit of the Michelite over the top. But to be perfectly honest, I'm just going to tamp them down. What I will do though, before I put them, I'm going to give them a spray, um, a mist, um, over the top, just to make sure. And that's it guys. I've got a few other bits and pieces to sew. Uh, I've got some kohlrabi. And I've got, um, oh what else have I got? Well there's loads I'm going to go through, but uh, I've got these three as well with... Um, to grow your own magazine. Tamatillo. Says so start start them off in March, so I'm right on the because it's February the twenty first today. Um and it's quarter past nine on the Sunday evening. So I'm probably pushing it but they were free. There's ten seeds in there so they're free. So I might just start them off in a in a little uh, a little cup. Um see if I can get some to germinate and then prick them out don't know yet um, but I know I've got some others here um, which I've got to sew and it, these are I will tell you there are these, the, these are the sweetie peas which should have really gone in but I've got some sweet peas uh, night and day sweet peas royal family lavender Sweet pea, oh, sun like, or Lathyrus odiratus, or Roditotos, I don't know. But there you go, all from Premier Seeds. And then I, I also got some uh, rainbow mix of beetroot. So that won't go out yet, but uh, yeah. The sweet pea is what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to, um, I don't know yet. I might sow them here. And get a bit of warmth into them to get them started. Um, but yeah, like I said before, what I found is you just got to be really careful on the getting them getting things leggy, which I've always had issues with the, the window sills. Um, but it's getting that um, the balance with the lights and the distance and all the rest of it. So a uh, bit of fun, early season, and uh, and that's it. So I think. Um, I've done quite a bit today, actually. I've been down the allotment early, which you'll uh, you'll see in another um, another video. Um, so yes, I've done quite a bit growing wise today, and uh, I'll come back to you in the week with some more little bits and pieces I'm doing. And actually, if I come back for say Thursday, um, these might have started to spread, and I'll uh, bring up to speed on those, and um, we'll take it from there. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed. If you subscribe, great stuff. If you haven't, please subscribe. I'm on 600 subscribers. It would be nice by June. Um, I was on the thousand, possibly. Yeah. So if you know anybody or know any friends and family or whatever, just hit, hit the subscribe button for me. Uh, and I hope you enjoy. And uh, we'll take it from there. Uh, and we'll speak to you later.